now welcome to the video number one or video session one now today we're going to cover on moment of inertia this chapter is very very easiest chapter this moment of inertia is very easiest and also you study the previous first year little bit of it but before going to start the actual topic of the moment of inertia here you need to know what is the relation between the linear motion and the rotational motion? Actually, there are three kinds of motions are there. One is linear motion. That means all vehicles are moving on the road. Second one is rotational motion. That means electron rotates around the nucleus. All planets rotates around the sun here. And third one is oscillatory motion. That is simple harmonic motion. But at present, don't bother about the oscillatory motion, just you bother about the linear motion and rotational motion. For example, this is linear motion. Next one is rotational motion. Here in the linear motion, we are using displacement, is there no? That displacement, I am writing what? Yes. This is displacement. Okay. Here, I am using the term angular displacement. I am using the word angular displacement. Angular displacement is represented by what? Theta. Then, Velocity, I will call it as a linear velocity or only what? Velocity is represented by what? Meter. Here I am using the word angular velocity. Angular velocity. It is represented by omega. It is omega. And another term is the acceleration, that is acceleration. A, I am writing. Here we are using the word angular acceleration. It is represented by what? Alpha. Here what is the relation between this and this is? Here V equal to here V equal to what? R into omega. This is the relation between the linear velocity and angular velocity. What is R? R is the distance about which it rotates. For example, the electron rotates around the nucleus. R is the distance between the nucleus and the electron. Similarly, the relation between acceleration, linear acceleration and angular acceleration is R into what? Alpha it is. This is linear acceleration and this is what? Angular acceleration and all. Next, another term, momentum, that is momentum, linear momentum, we are writing what? P we are writing. But here we are using the word angular momentum, angular momentum. Angular momentum is represented by what? L we are writing. Next is. Here I am using the word force, force applied on the body. It is what? External force, F. Here I am using the word, it is what? Torque, torque. This is represented by what? Tau. Here, next is mass, mass of the object. It is what? Yeah. But here I am using the word, not mass, I am using the word inertia. This inertia is called as an what? R. It is not the mass equivalent term is what it is? Inertia. How it is? I will tell you later. Students, <clears throat> here we know that force equal to, we know the equation, force equal to, wait a minute. You know it? Force equal to what? M into what? Acceleration. I will multiply both sides, R I will multiply it, F into what, R, equal to M into A into what, R. Here I 
Here this is F into R is nothing but what? A force is there which is applying in a direction perpendicular to it. For example, I will tell you that is uh, no. this is about this point I am applying the force like this angle. This is the distance and here I am applying the what? Force I am applying. How I am applying the force? Like this I am applying. This is the what? Distance. This is called as a, that is the rotational effect is produced here. This is called as a torque. I will use the word what? Torque. Or some books they will write moment of a force. Moment of a force. Equal to M. What is A into R? You see? Here, A is that no? A I can write equal to what? R into what? Alpha into what? R I am writing. Then, torque equal to, you see, M, R into R. It is what? R square into what? Alpha. Is. Now, very interesting thing is here. Here, you see, torque equal to this. And we know that F equal to what? M into what? A I am using. Here, torque equal to, what is this? M R square into what? Alpha that. See the beauty of it. Here, as I told you, force equivalent term is what? Torque. This is the equivalent term. Then, here I am using the word acceleration. Here I am using the word angular acceleration. This term and this term is what? My match. And here it is what mass I am using. Here I am using the word what inertia. That means from this you see here mass is nothing but what inertia. This is equal to what m r square. Or else there will be like confusion. Here the mass is there now. The equivalent term is what m r square. It is nothing but torque equal to equal to what i into what alpha. Because mass equivalent term is what I, where I equal to, where I equal to what, M into what, R square. That is how that. Mathematically, we can define, how to define inertia. Inertia is the product of mass of the object and what, square of the distance, square of the distance. Still are not explained. The square of the distance between what, distance between what. Distance between any two particles or distance between any uh, that is x and particle or and all that. That I will tell you later. Now. Please once again concept on this. This is important. Here the relation between the linear motion and the rotational motion. In linear motion the displacement is what? Yes. Here angular displacement is what? Theta. Here the linear velocity is represented by what? V. Here angular velocity is represented by what? Omega. Next. Acceleration is represented by what it is? Acceleration is represented by what? A. Here, angular acceleration is represented by what? Alpha. That. And another thing you remember, the relation between these two equal to V equal to R into omega. That also I can prove it. It is not necessary now. And A equal to what? R into what? Alpha here. Next, the momentum equal to what? P. Here, it is linear momentum. Here it is what angular momentum is represented by what? F. Next, the force is F. Here the equivalent term, I am using the word torque. I am using, it is represented by Greek letter tau. They will call it as a what? Tau. Here the mass is what? M. But here it is what? Inertia. It is what? I. Here don't call only inertia. You can call it as a moment of inertia. You can call it as. It is called moment of inertia moment of inertia is represented by what i and also the moment of inertia i equal to what m r square i told you how it is we know the equation according to newton's second law f equal to what m into what a i am multiplying both sides r and multiplying here f into r equal to m a into what r here f into r is nothing but what torque it is called as a moment of a force moment of a force here your uh, the motion of any door or any window window door or something like this there you are applying the force 
Here this is tau. Here a equal to what I told you it is r into what? Alpha into what? R. Can I write tau equal to m r into r? R square into what? Alpha. Now you compare between this equation and this equation. Here I told you f is represented by what? f equal to m into a f equal to m into a f equal to m into what a here torque equal to equal to m r square into what alpha look into this here that f equivalent term is what torque this is here linear acceleration term it is what alpha here this is nothing but what it is i so that mass equivalent term is what so that i equal to what m into what r square still explanation not completed what is m what is r that i have to explain now that is now <clears throat> students inertia nothing but opposition inertia is nothing but what opposition of this here there is, suppose there is a one kg object is there and another one is 10 kg object is there. Certainly to move the 10 kg object, I need the more power is required. More power is required. Inertia is the property of a body by virtue of which it is in the state of rest or in the what? It is continuously in a motion here. It is according to the Newton's law and all that. Here, unless you apply the force, the body it will not come from the state of rest to what? Motion. Unless you apply the force, the body will be, it will not come to rest from motion to what? Rest, it will not come. Motion to rest is also not possible. From state to what? Motion is also not possible unless you apply the force. No way. Yavade vandu vastu, vandu static push in the area, adana move on with the other, you have to apply the what? The external force. Adhiriti agi, vandu yavade vandu vastu move on with the other, the rest you need what some external force is what required and all that here then the same fashion that is here then the two way i can define that is what moment of inertia one is mathematically i can define how to define mathematically this one this is the axis of rotation that is axis of rotation this is the axis of it. There is one imaginary axis. X, what? X dash. This is the particle M1. This distance is R1. This particle is M2. This distance is R2. This is particle M3. This distance is what? R3. That is. Here, moment of inertia I equal to about this object. Can I write? M1 into what? R1 square plus M2 into what? R2 square plus so on. It is M N R N square. Then this is the word. Moment of inertia of an entire object equal to sum of the moment of inertia of each particle. We know that. What is R here? R is nothing but distance between the, the axis of rotation and also what? Mass of the object. Here students remember this moment of inertia depends on depends on what are the factors that it depends on first one is it depends upon mass of the object mass of the object second distance between distance between between axis of rotation the axis of rotation and particle and particle and third one is it depends upon about what axis it rotates and nature and shape of the body it depends upon shape of the body shape of the body it may be rectangular it may be triangular it may be solid sphere it may be iron bar something it is a rectangular one and also depends upon the Axis of rotation. Axis of rotation. What is axis of rotation? I'll tell you. Now imagine this is a rectangular body. Now 
one axis is passing through it. Imagine that it is passing through it. Like this. Just imagine it is a one pole I made. Now it is passing through it. Now it will go rotates like this. Now the moment of energy is something. Now I am rotating the object. I am making the pole at one end. One end of the what? Object. One end of the what? Object. Now it rotates. Don't think that moment of inertia is same in both cases. Next one is, I am making the hole. It is like this, it rotates. I am making the hole at this point and it rotates like this. In all these cases, that is what the axis of rotation is what defined. About what axis it rotates. Based on the, the moment of inertia is also what? It varies here. What are the factors on which it depends here? It is depends upon the mass of the object. And next is what? Square of the distance between the axis of rotation and what? Particle. Next one is shape of the body. Is it solid sphere or rectangular bar or square or spherical body? And another one is what? Axis of rotation and all that. Here, this one, SI unit is SI unit is is kz meter square squares and next is is it vector quantity or scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity here and one more thing whether how much you understand i don't know that is mathematically we can define what is moment of inertia moment of inertia is a product of mass of the object and square of the distance between the axis of rotation and mass of the object. Mathematics. So, we just ask the question, two more question. What is moment of inertia? Define moment of inertia. It is defined as the product of mass, mass and what? Square of the distance that is. Like this, I am taking the several particles I am taking and then also I am taking the sum of all these. That is. Here one is I1. I2, I3, I4, so on and all that. And second point is what? Yes, SI unit is what it is? Kz meter square. And it is a what? Scalar quantity. Still, that is the actual mathematically you understand. Easily you can write what is moment of inertia. What is the actual meaning of that moment of inertia is? For example, one cylinder is that. This is the cylinder. This is the cylinder. That is the This is cylinder. This cylinder, or else I will write like this. This cylinder. This cylinder will be rolls. Just it will rolls on the floor. And then it will come to rest after traveling a distance of 10 meter. That is what that meter. Just I'm applying the force on it. And then it will come to what? Rest. After traveling how much it is? 10 meter. Suppose the same cylinder something, now it is another one, it will be comes to rest after traveling how much it is, 20 meter, 20 meter. That means the moment of inertia of the second cylinder is more than the what? The moment of inertia of the what? First cylinder. Actual meaning is what? The moment of inertia is nothing but what? It is how much amount of the power is required. What is the amount of the power is required to bring into what? Rest. Or to set into what? Motion. Rotational motion. Yavide when the vastu yes to power begagate and here is the yavdo moment of inertia. If more power is required to bring into rest, that means that moment of inertia is what? More here. If the less power is required, then we can say that moment of inertia is what? Less. From this, what I said is, this is second object. This moment of inertia is I2 and this is what I1. Here I2 greater than I1 like this. I2 greater than what? I1 here. Yeah. It opposes the what? It is a moment of inertia of a rotating body. It opposes the change in condition. Change in condition. Or it lets the angular acceleration. That is what I will write in other language. Now moment of inertia. That is mathematical definition and another definition it is the property of the body it is the property of the body 
that is the property of the body property of the body that is the property of the body due to which due to which it resists resist means oppose resist the angular acceleration resist the angular acceleration angular acceleration any opposition resist the angle this is the exact definition of what a moment of inertia mathematically we are writing a force r equal to m into what r square and of that and one more example you will guess one more here you take a disc you can take it cd you can take it this is this is the center the center i am making one radius i am taking this is the point now it will be rotates about this angle this distance is what r1 angle i am considering another one that is i am considering this radius is what less r and also what is like this you see for the outer one the moment of inertia is more because more mass is distributed you see the entire more mass is distributed here also whereas for the inner radius you see for the inner radius only the mass is what this much only the mass is this much for this moment of inertia is more and this moment of inertia is what less this is i1 i will call it this i will call it as a what i2 here i1 is greater than what i2 i call it as why i1 is greater than i i2 here both are rotating about the same point but here the distribution of the mass is what here more but here the distribution of the mass is what less because we know that i equal to what m into what r square what is inertia moment of inertia means it always it makes the what a position for the rotational motion here or you can say that it is how much amount of a power is required to bring the object rotation object into what rest yavade one vastu rotation agirtakkanta vastu anna ninu stop madabekadre yestu power beku annuvantad heluvantad enadu moment of inertia if more power is required then moment of inertia is more if less power is required then moment of inertia is what it is less and all that and i am using the term only inertia in case of what linear motion in case of what linear motion here next i give one more example i will guess here also that one cycle wheel you can consider bicycle wheel this is the basic can draw the diagram properly these are the spokes these are the spokes this is rotating about this axis is rotating i am considering it another disc i am considering this is the disc this solid disc this is also rotating like this is assume that this is this this is annular ring it is what ring this mass is also young this mass is also what yeah i am giving the very good analogy i am giving it as both are set into rotate like this rotate set into here this is also mass is young this mass is also what yeah suppose when this is rotating now if i hold it if i touch this hand on this i will also touch the upper part of it but when i touch it now this disc will be comes into rest to more quickly compared to what this here listen carefully one is ring and another one is what this this mass is also what yeah this mass is also what yeah yeah both are rotating about this axis it is rotating this also what rotating now when i hold it when external force i apply now it is on this and on this this object will be comes into rest more quickly that is by touching by touching this comes to rest this comes to rest 
quickly quickly but this will be comes to rest later that means the moment of inertia it is upon this ring is more than the what moment of inertia of the what this i think you can able to understand the meaning of what moment of inertia is i think we have heard that is now when you are purchasing two wheeler vehicle and all that alloy wheels they are calling it as alloy wheels and all that where alloy wheels are like this nowadays all vehicles are provided with the alloy wheels and all that if you are purchasing with alloy wheels then you have to shell out more price for it because the more power is there in it more power is this is the physics behind it i told you several times in every walk of your life there is always the physics is there it is everywhere there is physics is, is there now next company your syllabus that is now now i am solving one problem to solve let us consider two objective can consider one kc and another one is what two kc that is one kc and this is what two kc both are provide same here is the axis this is x x dash this distance is what Point seventy five meter and this distance is also point seventy five meter. What is the moment of inertia about the axis x x dash? What is the formula for moment of inertia? I equal to m into what? R square. What is R here? R is the distance between axis and what object. Here the two objects are there, so that there are two terms of them. Now can I write mass is what what this is point seventy five into what point seventy five because it is a mass one plus of this object two into point seventy five into what point seventy five then multiply all these things it comes around i x x dash it is nearly four point nine seven or nine nine it comes what are the unit this unit is kg meter square this is one problem. always physics you can understand only by solving the what the problems of this next one is i'm taking another problem i think this problem number 1 now i'll repeat so i'm considering two objects four objects i'm considering this is the axis of rotation here this distance is i i want to calculate x about the axis x x dash this mass is m this mass is m this mass is m this mass is m here the sides are a this side is also what a so that certainly this will be a by 2 this is what a this is also a by 2 this is what Tell me now. Calculate I of x x dash equal to what? What? Here, four masses, four terms. I x x dash. I'm sorry, very simple problems I'm taking here. Here, it is a warm-up exercise problems equal to m into from here to here this object a by two, so that it is a square by what? Four. Plus so for this m, this distance is a by two a square by what four for this object plus m, this distance is a by two this is a square by four for this object plus m a square by what four all are same terms same values how many terms one two three four can I write four into m into A square by what four? This four, this four get cancels, so that I of x x dash equal to what? Yum into what? Yes. This is second problem. Next. 
I want to calculate the moment of inertia about this axis. About this axis. Now start for thinking. This is x. This is what x there. I will call it as a. This I will call it as a b. This I will call it as a what c. What do we calculate here? Moment of inertia about x x dash equal to what? Students, first I will start my journey here. I x x dash equal to the axis is passing through itself object itself, so that distance equal to zero. Because moment of inertia equal to m r square, it is passing about this point only, so that this is what zero plus. For this object, you see, mass is m. This distance. What is this distance here? Yeah. Can I write L square? I can write. For this object, don't write L. Students are normally they are doing the mistakes. This distance I need. This I will call it as a what? D I will call it as a. Here I need distance D I need. Here from the geometry it is an equilateral triangle. This is 60. This is 60 degree. And this is also what? 60 degree and all. Friend, this angle is 90. This is 60. Then this angle is what? 30 degree. Is it not triangle? It is this one. Is it not triangle? I need this. This is opposite side. This is edges side. This is what? Hypotenuse. So that sin of this one. Because I need this angle. Sin of 30 equal to you see, opposite side equal to it is a a b divided by this hypotenuse it is what a but you need this perpendicular distance you required so that a d equal to a d equal to a b into what sin of 30 what is a b a b is nothing but what yeah sin 30 equal to what l by 2 then certainly for this object the moment of pressure is m what is the distance here? L by 2. L by 2 equal to L square by what? 4. Now add all these terms here so that I x x dash equal to M into L square plus M L square by what? 4. Then this is equal to 5 by 4 into what? L square. I think it's step for you. That. One more problem I solved. Here, don't get a confusion. Always distance between the mass of the object and axis of rotation that you have to take it. Some books they will take this angle, they will take it. this angle also. We can take it. This is 90, this is 30, this must be what? 60, like that. But then you have to take cos 65. Take one more problem. Problem is like this. Calculate the moment of inertia of an you know, system when the axis is passing through one of its mass, one of its mass, any object, any mass. This is A, this is B, this is what C. I am taking like this. It is passing like this. This axis I will call it the what? X, X dash. Then I of X, X dash equal about this object, axis is same, it is passing, so that there is no moment of inertia, it is what J. For this object, the mass is what L. What is the distance between mass and axis is what L. I will write L square. I will write. For this object, you see, this object, about this axis, then this is mass and distance is what L square. So that I of x x dash equal to 2m into what? L square. 
This is how one should do the problems on the moment of initiations. But of course, what I am solving the problems, they are all what primitive problems, very basic. Just to warm up exercise at the problem center of planning. One more thing. You have one object, one case. Next case, two case. Next, three case. Next is so on, up to what? 10 kc objects are placed. All are placed from this axis, it is called as an x. This distance is what 1 meter. This distance is what 2 meter. This distance 3 meter. And this distance is what 10 meter. What is the moment of finish of the entire system? This entire system is consisting of 10 particles, so that there, are, there should be 10 terms. Now, I of x, x dash equal to. Come to this object. What is the formula? I equal to what? M R square. What is the mass here? 1. What is the distance? 1 square. 1. Plus of this one. 2 into. What is the distance here? 2. It is 2 square. Plus 3 into what? 3 square plus so on 10 into 10 square. Can I write all these things here like this? It is square now. It is 1 cube plus 2 cube, 2 square. Plus of 3 cube plus so on, it is what? 10 cube. That means I of x, x dash equal to, it is n cube. I equal to 1 to n equal to what? n equal to 1 to what? 10. In the mathematics you will know one equation summation of n cube equal to what? n square. You know that. This is equal. What is summation of n? Summation of n equal to n into n plus 1 divided by what? 2. Here this is equal to n into what? n plus 1. Here the square term is the square divided by that is n into n plus 1 divided by what? 2 is that. I think you understood how will it, it is n cube because 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, like that. Summation of n cube equal to what? Summation of n square. What is summation of n? Summation of n equal to n into n plus 1 by what? 2. It's a square is there. That is then I can write how many terms are there? 10 terms. It is 10 square into 10 plus 1, 11. 11 into what? 11. Divided by what? 2. It is or 1. It is 10 into 11 divided by 2 divided by 2. It is whole square. Yes. That is 2 1 ja and this is what 2 5 ja. That means equal to 5 into 11 square equal to 55 into what? 55. That comes around 55 into 55. It comes around, if I remember correctly, 3025 or something, it comes like this. This is how we can predict the problems on it. Next. Now I will write exact definition to for the moment of inertia. Moment of inertia is not down. Moment of inertia of a rigid body, moment of a rigid body about a fixed axis, about a fixed axis, about a fixed axis is defined as the, is defined as the sum of products of mass and square of the distance, square of the distance, square of the distance between, between what? Axis of rotation, axis of rotation and particle at that point and particle at that point. 
part. Okay. Here, I told you that is x1, x2, and all that. Then you write i equal to m1 r1 square, m2 what r2 square plus so on. Here, then it is for sum of the moment of pressure for all the part. If you want, you can draw this diagram also. You can draw it. This is the axis. This is axis is x x dash. You can write. This is the particle m1. This is the particle m2. This is the particle m3. This distance r1, r2, r3. This is the mathematical definition. But actually, we can't understand by mathematical definitions. Uh, therefore, we can't understand the meaning of what moment of inertia. As I told you, that is, whenever the more power is required to bring the rotating body into rest, then moment of inertia is what more than is. If less power is required, then that moment of inertia is supposed to be what less. It always it opposes the angular acceleration. The turn angular will becomes only in case of what rotational motion. It opposes the rotation that is. If there is more opposition, then you can say that that rotational inertia is what more here. Some books they will call it as rotational, and some books they will call it as what moment of inertia and all that. Next. I told you that is V equal to R into omega. I told you that is how it is. Suppose this one axis. This is the object. It is rotating about this. Okay. Oh. This is the. It is a solid body. This is particle A1 and what? B. This is comes like this. Next, this is what? A2 and what? B2. This is what? A3 and what? B3. See, in all these cases, you see what happens? This distance is different. This is R1 from this point. This distance is what? R2. This distance is what? R3. Whether the particle A1 or A2 or A3, angle described is same. Angle described is same. Here, omega equal to theta divided by what? T. That is same. What I want to say is, in case of linear motion, in case of rotational motion, in case of rotational motion, in case of rotational motion, angular velocity omega is same for all the particles, for all the particles, this is important because this I am going to cover in the next derivation process. But what is different, omega is same, but r is different, you see, this distance is r, this distance is r2, this distance is r3, so that as r changes, the linear velocity will be what changes, that means linear velocity of particle a1 linear velocity of particle A2 and linear velocity of particle A3, they are different. Linear velocities are different, but angular velocity is same for all the what particles that is. Because angle described by the particle is what? Same only that is. What do you understand here? In case of rotational motion, in case of important point in case of in case of rotational motion in case of rotational motion angular velocity omega is same for all the particles for all the particles but linear velocity V differs, V differs from one particle to another particle, from one particle to another particle, another particle. This is what important point while deriving the next expression.
can I wish for kinetic energy of the body? Kinetic energy of a rotating body. Kinetic energy of the rotating body. Consider this one lamina you consider. This lamina is rotating about this point, pivot, pivot to the one hole. It is rotating at about this point. Here I am considering one object I am considering. This is the mass M1. This distance is what? Uh, it is rotating like this. About this point, it rotates like this. About this point, it rotates. So that this velocity is V1. It is like this. And considering another object I am considering, this is M2. This velocity is like this V2 and this uh, distance is 4, it is R2 at first. We know that kinetic energy, kinetic energy of particle 1, particle 1, particle 1 equal to M1 into what? V1 squared. This particle. Because it is moving with the velocity is what? V1 it is moving. Kinetic energy of particle.